Okay guys, hi. I am decided to do my part two on my iPod pad while my iPod is uploading part one because I didn't feel like stopping. So, yeah, that's basically the thing. I have this piano book over here if you're wondering why I'm like covering some goodies back there that are a surprise for you guys can't see yet. So that's that, because so I have some videos on hold that are coming up for a special time for challenges and whatnot. So I'm going to paint some gold I've decided on here. And I may want to rub some gold off, so we'll see how that goes. I'll just grab a napkin pulled away from the... Um, Part of the, you know, and kind of pull it away, and just in case I want to rub some of that away, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I decided, yeah, I just want to have some gold on here, and yeah, I like that. So anywhere I want to wipe it up. I might just do that, so that's why I have the uh, napkin back in here. I also like kind of that look when you do that to paint, when you kind of paint it on and you tap it off. It gives a nice texture as well. So I like that. I'm just going kind of nuts over on here, like just crazy. To get this um, gold on here. I have no idea what I want to do, so I just kind of want to go with my flow. And I thought, well, you know what, if I stop, I'm going to look at this and hate it. Because it's starting to look like a cow. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I can't stop. I want that classic look, but I don't want to look like look at it and be staring at this and thinking in my head while the other video was uploading. So, yeah, I just will put it on hold on uh, like you know unpublished until I get both videos ready. So this is how it's looking. Nice and gold. I'm going to try to throw in some. Teal I had made, mixing up some blues and a little bit of gold mixed with it and see how that reacts with each other. If it's too mucky, I don't think it's too mucky. But we'll see, because now when I rub it on there, it might be just too... I always put more gold on it too. Kind of dry brush some of that on there. Where's my water? Thank you. Can you get me new water, please, boy? So I'm going to add oh, a little more gold. It might have been too... Um, I should maybe left it a little brighter. I don't know. We'll see. I also want to add a little bit of butter um, to it. 
little bit of light butter. I think I want to use something else to put it on. Chloe, can you get me that bubble tape thing? Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. I just decided to use this little small bubble wrap. So, thank you, Chloe. I'm just going to roll it up here like this. And paint it on. Just like that. I'm using this as kind of like a... That's nice. Now it's starting to come together for me. Now I'm not panicked at all. It was really getting me worried when I was thinking... When I was moving to myself in my head. My brain was going... Rrr, and I'm like, no... But this is much, much better for me now. Some of the little darker blacks I'm going to go over. Lighten them up. Just painting over the spots like this, see? And kind of like, yeah, going over it. Looking a lot better for me. Thank you, Chloe. So I think I'm going to dry this really quickly. And don't think I'm going to add more blue. It didn't come out like this teal. It's probably because I darkened it. Let's see. Another brush. No, it's not even still doing, but it's okay. Rinse that off, please, Chloe. So yeah, I'm going to dry this up. And this is what he looks like so far. Pretty cute. Okay, so I grabbed my brown, and I'm going to try to hmm, go crazy and do a little bit of inking. And it's not going to come... Yeah, it's not going to come through because, through because of... These so much bumps, but some of it will. Some of it will. So, um, I want to give it a try. What the heck? To have even if it's supposed to be a classic, classy bear. So even if it has a little lace coming through, I'm gonna be happy because I don't want like. I don't need it like thick, full of lace. But there's a little bit of lace in places here that I'm putting. That, and that's making me very happy, actually. So. So that was that. And um, I have this new stamp. I did try it out just to see how it worked. And of course, it's not going to stamp out the whole stamp, but to me, it's going to be just a texture stamp throughout. Oh, who knows? I'm playing with it. It's got a little script on it, so even if a little bit of script pulls through, that's what I want. And it does. Like, it's, you can see it, the brown script in there, so it's looking pretty. It's like a nice... Touch. If you were to look at this, when you get something, you're like, oh, look at that, you know, and you look at all the detail into it, you will see, the person will see what they have. They're not going to see a bird, but they're going to see the little writings in there. 
that is all across this little bird, if you can see the writing, that little bits and pieces are going to pop out. And that's what I like. I bought this stamp at Michael's for, I like it, on sale and I got it for like, I think it was 60% off or something and it was 8 bucks I still paid for it so I'm very pleased, very pleased. Now there it is and I'm very happy with it. spray a little thin layer of hairspray on it because I don't have like a fixident and this is uh, this ink will move on me now let's, I'm hoping that it won't move too much now that I did this so I'm gonna dry it a bit now I'm gonna pause so Sorry guys, I, did I just push play? Oh my goodness. So, this is my fair, nice and dry. I'm not going to put any dimensional flowers on them like I thought I would. Um, maybe on another one, but I decided that I won't. Um, if anything, I might put... Hello? Whoa! Now I'm just going to ink up the edges on my bear a little bit here. Uh, guys, and I'm going to... I was going to do it the, the other way, but I think I'm just going to rub it on this way, even though it's going to... Yeah. So I'm just going to... nice and solid that is, that plaster wrap. I love it. Nice and solid. And I think it's a little different the norm and it's got a lot of texture and I love it. So I got a little bit of that brown everywhere here for the edging. come together very nice. Very nicely. Yeah, like, um, this is permanent. Just reading it because I couldn't remember. Um, I haven't used this ink in a while so I'm just going to add a little bit of that around. Just on the very edge, not trying to get any on the front of the bear. Where I got the brown kind of coming forward. So, I can't really get in between his little legs right now. Maybe I could try it. 
to get them around and kind of just push it through. <laughs> Somehow. So there is him. Yeah, he's pretty cute. I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge on it. I'm going to sit and look at it and see if I need to add anything else. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to put some Mod Podge on him and hope that the hairspray fixed it pretty good. As long as I don't go over too much, I think it'll be okay. I don't want it to get dusted and lose its prettiness because it's smeared, you know. So, I've ever done that where I dusted a something, <laughs> photography type of thing, photograph paper, and I'm thinking, got a little bit of spray on it as I'm dusting and I try to you pretty much have to leave it because, yeah, it smeared. So, I think I have my glue or Mod Podge all over. Protect it. I'm going to dry this one off. And just go from there. Okay. What kind of water is that? That's my. So I'm going to dry him off, and then I'm going to see, look at him. I think he's done. So this is my bear, and I'm very happy with how it looks. Um, I'm going to paint the back and make it look really finished. So and we have the hanger here, which is really nice. So that's cool. Um... I've decided I'm going to put a little bit of jewelry gel pendant on it, I think. Um, jewelry pendant gel on it, just a little thin layer. I know there's Mod Podge on it, but just a little extra thin layer. Still and, going? Yeah, I'm still video. Oh. Um, Is that the one that you're making for Terry? And, um... Yeah, so I'm going to paint the back now. So, I've decided to go with um, bay, light bay acrylic paint. It's pretty good um, quality paint. So, I think this is the best color. I don't know if I want to go with the gray today. Um, I did the gray on the back of my other dolls. I'll show you. It's really nice, but um, all my paper dolls, of course, you gotta do the back, and I did the back this blue gray. But I think, I know you don't see the back, but it'll kind of go a little bit more with the front. Blends in when you're looking at the gift, flipping and flopping it, and it looks more blend. So, something I try to do. I actually should have probably went over it with Mod Podge just to give it a protecting seal. You can do it with gesso, but I didn't do that. 
didn't think about it till just the second I said it, pretty much the second before I said it. It would um, actually really smooth over faster with the Mod Podge over it. So that's all I'm doing. Going on quite thick. But that's okay. It's a really nice thick paint, so it's one layer is perfect. That's what I like about this. So it covers the back perfect. And if you're using um, recycled items, um, this this particular paint covers really, really well. And I got it like a really good bargain for it too. It, um, PM Hobby Shop. So, I really like it. I think this is an egg. Oh, it looks like it. Cool. It don't go in. Don't touch it. Cool. I know. I just look at and take cool, a picture cool. and make it close to the PM Mall. Yeah, cool. And not that mall. Um, so, yeah, I like the, um, this color for the back. And I'm going to use these paints just for that. I'm not going to use them for anything else. I just love the way they, they go on. They're thick. They cover. Great coverage on any kind of medium writing and whatnot. So. It's that mold. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Chloe has some triops, and oh, I was changing the triops water and scooping out some debris, and I accidentally scooped up her triop, and he didn't survive the scoop up. I put him back as soon as I realized I scooped him up, but I guess when they're fairly, he was fairly small, he didn't survive, and I feel so terribly bad because she even named it. It was the only one that hatched. So now I put more eggs in there. She's looking at them and she's like spotting things that look like they're whatever. To her, they're growing or whatever. So she's taking pictures. She's very excited about it. And I will be more careful when I'm cleaning the debris because they have this debris that goes with the eggs that's apparently their food for when they first hatch in this particular kit. <sighs> so I was kind of sucking up the little sucker, all the bottom stuff, and he's swimming around, just so cute. And then he seemed to jump right in the little bucket of my little scooper upper when I was scooping the debris off the top, and I guess that was enough to, to his demise. I felt so bad, I actually couldn't sleep that night. That would just happen two nights ago. I couldn't sleep because I felt so bad. And I wouldn't let her do it because I didn't want her to... <laughs> uh, I felt so bad. So i got to be very much more careful when I'm scooping to make sure... Because he was so fast, he just dived right in there. I didn't even notice until I had a little... Yeah, until he was scooped. Anyway. And he pretty much stopped moving instantly. So, felt so bad. So we're trying another batch, and hopefully more will hatch because we didn't have the light, the the little tank close enough to the lights, high up. So we put more layers of books so it was closer. So hopefully more will survive this one and hatch. That's cool. I think it is. Oh, that's nice. Here, I'm going to show everybody on YouTube. She's just Googling what... This is what he looked like, except for more orangey. I don't know if you could see that. She's just Googling eggs and stuff. He's very cute. He's very cute. And I feel so bad. But I'll be more careful with the next one. <laughs> oh, boy. So we have to... 
she's really into these guys, so she just fell in love with it. So yeah. Be sure not to scoop them up. They're very sensitive to the touch, I guess. So anyway, my bear is almost done. You guys are just getting totally bored to death watching me paint him. <sighs> like, why don't you, why do you pause on drawing and then you're making us watch you paint? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The drying is so loud. I hate the loud dryer noise. And you can't really talk over that. So, that's the only thing I usually try to pause over. I stop if somebody interrupts me for a second and, and I can't work at that moment. So the next time I'll do this, I'll put a coat of Mod Podge so the paint will just slide much, I think, nicely. And, um, it's pretty good paint. It's not, like, soaking up or anything like that, so I'm going away. So I think it's, like, for... You know, the little hobby train stuff, sets and stuff like that that they have at the hobby shop. But it's it's good paint and I'm using it and I bought it for cheap. Three for a buck, so. And if I saw these in there again, I would definitely buy them because of the quality. They're pretty good. The colors may not be ideal, but they are. They work for my back parts of the things. And like the acrylic stuff, you buy a lot of places, you have to do second coat, so how's that? If you're buying cheaper stuff, not really helpful. So here he is, pretty close to done. I was getting around a little bit of the snout area. Any white spots? And he's done. Now, and I know the yellow wish. It's not even yellow. Whatever his color is. They call it light bay. It's not appealing or beautiful, but it's a good back behind a project color. And. Now you're watching me close a lid. Really? <laughs> so. I think, you know, when you flip it over. Oh, look at this. What I got. It's pretty. It's a good, you know, thing. So. Could dry it up. Okay. The very last thing. Sorry, you guys are wiggling. I like to do before I'm done a piece is I will put my stamp on it with all my information and I will um, mod podge that to the back of my art and if anyone wants any information or to email me or to call me it's there so um yeah, then it's there, and then I, someone, I can make something for somebody if there's a request or whatever. So that's always a nice thing to have. I've had the same phone number for good eight years. And that's the number I use for my, my art and stuff like that. So I'm just going to hear that to here.
give leave a little room to sign, so I actually might have to do a bigger piece of paper. I wasn't even thinking, I was kind of talking here. Mm -hmm. So, that would help. A larger piece, because you need to sign your work. There you go. Well, this stamp's been working, and I got from uh, Vista Print. It's been working for eight years. Good quality, I think. I'm just going to do Sharpie and see how well that goes. And there we go. Doing that one over again. So there we go. It's all there. My signature, my info, that kind of thing. Permanently on the back of my piece. Oh, and I should put the year on there, darn it. <laughs> I could do that on the piece, though. And there you go, guys. That's it. Um, just put the year on there. I might have to wait till it's dry, actually. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Um, give me a thumbs up and, you know, share with people if you like it. And I'll um, talk to you later. Bye, guys.